The French president, the new French president, was elected with a strong mandate that will put him in a strong position in the negotiations. So we need a strong mandate to put us in a strong position in those negotiations. And every single vote for my local candidates will strengthen my hand in those Brexit negotiations to get the best deal for Britain. The Liberal Democrats, the Scottish Nationalists and others are lining up to prop him up. And a Jeremy Corbyn-led coalition of chaos is a real possibility. We must not let that happen. What we've seen from other parties is attempts to disrupt the negotiating process, to undermine the, uh, the task that lies ahead. We've seen some of them wanting to have second referendums, wanting to open up the old divisions. And what I see when I go around the country is actually from people today, Leavers and Remainers, whatever they voted in the referendum, actually saying, we want the government to get on with it. We want the government to deliver Brexit and make a success of it. There's a unity of purpose in the country. There's only one party that recognises that and will deliver for people, and it's the Conservative Party. Customers of the six largest energy suppliers in a year are paying £1.4 billion more than they would do if there was a truly competitive market. But you're wrong. Ed Miliband didn't suggest a cap on energy prices. Ed Miliband suggested a freeze on energy prices that would have frozen them so people paying above the odds would have continued to pay above the odds and crucially the prices could not have gone down. Our cap, under our cap prices will be able to go down. And at this crucial election it's not about who people have voted for in the past, it's about who they want to see leading the country for the next five years.